Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today it's Flying Gecko Day. So we're going to learn a bit more about him, we're going to look at his enclosure and then we're going to see if we can set up a log platform and some other bits and bobs and we're going to see if we can get catch him flying while gliding between different items. That's what we're going to try and do today, I don't know if he will, but we're going to see if we can give it a go, we're going to make it nice and safe for him, uh, but that's the plan today, see if we can get him to fly for us. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, bring the bell for me, and let's see if we can get the flying gecko to fly. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of talks about him. Um, but the main thing is today, what we're doing is what he would do in the wild. So he would be climbing up trees and to keep away from the predators that are on the ground, he would glide from tree to tree or if there's a predator in that tree or a bird or something like that, he can then just launch himself off, glide to the nearest tree or whatever in that direction, <coughs> and he can climb up that and then he's away from that predator. Because a lot of the other predators, as soon as he jumps off and glides, he, I'm assuming it's quite quick, so they might lose sight of him or something like that, but uh, scientists, there's no uh, fossil record of them. So they, they have no idea where they've come from, basically. Um, because they're in tropical climates and stuff like that, stuff doesn't fossilise. So uh, they don't have much of a fossil record for them, so they don't have any records of how they evolved to have this ability. See if we can find him. So they are from East, uh, Southeast Asia, which is one of their most common places. We are found in other places as well. I think he's on that back wall. Um, they were discovered in 1809. So they've been round for, they've been discovered for about 200 years. What I might have to go, is go through this tank so we can have a look at him. So they, the, as I said, scientists can't really agree or work out where they came from in the fossil record. Um, they also can't agree on how many types there are. There's between five and nine different types of them but the scientists can't agree on it because sometimes they think it's the, uh, some types aren't, no, let me say it again. So, uh, so some scientists would say this is a different species to another one and some would say no, it's the same species. So they reckon there's between five and nine different species of it, but the scientists can't agree. But there he is, you can see his, his uh, gliding wings all folded up, he's even got them on his head. He's got web feet and he's got an extra uh, extra skin on his tail to help him glide and that's how he steers when he's in the sky. They feed on mainly uh, insects, they also eat spiders in the wild and small vertebrae. Uh, but the, in captivity we feed them rapashi as well because that's quite a good food for the geckos. We also feed them locusts and crickets and stuff like that. While we're here, we give them a little bit of a feed of some small locusts. Round. There we go. Not too many because he's only small. Right, no. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, I got him. Yes, we leave them in there for him. Then he can have a wrong piece. And he can have a munch then. Their main predators, though, are snakes and monitor lizards and predatory birds. So that's why he's got this gliding skill is so he can dive off the tree, get away from snakes, get away from uh, monitor lizards. What he would do, he'd be on a branch like this, they usually keep, um, so they won't put themselves in a very enclosed space. They're gonna be up on a branch, ready for if anything comes, they can just jump straight away and get away. Um, so if a snake came along, or a monitor lizard, they would jump and fly away. Uh, same with the predatory birds, but he would assume the predatory bird would be able to fly after it, depending on how fast and stuff they glide. I've never seen them glide or anything like that, so we, that's what we're going to try and do today. I'm not sure if we're going to do it off this, uh, or we make something a little bit lower, but I have got loads of polystyrene to put down on the floor, just to give him a softer landing. He would be absolutely fine, but in the wild, of course, he wouldn't be landing on a floor floor. He'd be landing on leaf litter, or another tree, or something like that. So that's what we're going to try and do today. I've got a couple more facts to tell you about him and then hopefully we'll be able to build something for him to jump off uh, and then figure out how we're going to get him out of the tank. He's a little bit skitty. What I could find out, they live for between about 10 to 15 years depending on, on the um, species and variant of them. 
um, and what country they come from. Uh, and they get about eight inches, which is really, really cool. It's quite, well, it's bigger than that. <laughs> it's a good size animal, um, which is really not, of course, with tails. They have really, really long tails. They, um, they also, there's, I've seen albino ones, which are pure white, and I've seen, uh, I can't remember what it is, but they were black ones. Uh, very, very cool. Almost looked like Toothless from uh, How to Chain Dragon. Very, very cool. And the white one almost looks like the, uh, the white one in the new one. So super cool. I've always wanted a black and a white one, but I've, I've only ever been able to get these. Only ever been able to get these ones. Uh, we did have two originally, uh, but the one passed away. Problem is they, they don't tend to breed these very well. Uh, a lot of them come in wild caught. Uh, and it's, unless there's no source for it in captivity, um, I normally don't get anything wild caught. I try and get everything um, captive bred, captive farmed, so um, there's no impact on the wildlife in the wild, because that's the last thing we want to do. Uh, but most of the time, the flying geckos, they are captive, uh, no, sorry, wild caught. Uh, but that usually means there's some sort of parasites and stuff in so captive um, wild caught ones quite often pass away and stuff like that if you don't treat them for stuff. Um, the one we had didn't last very long really. Um, but this one, he's been here for months and months and months now, he's doing really well. So uh, I'm really happy with him, really happy. So we're going to try and build something now he can jump off a nice area for him to land. See if we can get him to fly for us. What we might do is start him off on something lower and then something higher up once he gets used to it because i don't think he's i've never seen him glide uh he, he do, won't do it in the tank because it's too small of a gap um but we're going to see how we get on today in here whoa i've got loads of polystyrene it's what we use to insulate the shop and stuff like that make sure the tanks are insulated because it brings the lecky down a lot if you insulate the tank just a sheet of a sheet on top, sheet at the back, so don't block your vent holes though. Uh, maybe a sheet underneath and stuff like that. It really helps keep the heat in. And if you, uh, on the night time, putting something over the over the glass, or just a blanket or something like that, really reduces the heat loss as well. Okay, I'm not sure where we're going to be able to do a launch from, if you know what I mean. Um, we might start with if I can put a branch up here, we'd start off at the fish tank height. Because what I don't want him to do is jump somewhere where we can't, uh, where he's gonna get wedged in somewhere where we can get underneath stuff. If he jumps on the floor, that's fine. There's no way for him to go above from underneath those tanks there. But we're gonna try and block all that off and have him come down here to this big open stretch where he can have a glide. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put, I won't go too mad with him, but I'll add a nice run like that. I can't see him gliding much more than that because it'd be almost proper flight. It's like, um, what's his name? Buzz Lightyear. It's not flying, it's falling with style. Waha. Right, so I've made a little bit of a launch platform for him. So he should be able to come to the end of here and then jump off and glide to wherever he wants to go. Uh, I'm gonna set up a couple of cameras so we can catch him at different angles jumping. Um, so yeah, I think that's gonna be the best option. Set a camera up here, watching this. So we'll be able to see him jump off and then this camera I'm holding, we'll be looking a bit more at him and then try and maybe see him jump down. So I'll probably be over this side. So we may maybe put him on there and then watch him jump down and see where he goes. That's the idea anyway. I might put some branch and bark down there as well so he's got a bit more of a target to aim for. So, if we get you, sir, like this, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And then put this somewhere here like that. You might give him something to aim to. There he is. Oh, he's fast. He's fast. So I'm not sure how we're going to catch him. I don't want to stress him out or anything like that. Um, but it's going to be educational to find out what he does. So I'd love to be able to get him an area where he can actually do jumping and stuff. This could be so much enrichment for him. He's that quick. He is, he's that quick. There he is. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Oh, we touched him. As soon as he realizes we're not hurting him, he'll be fine. And he'll calm right down.
You might see it's going slower, slowly. See? I'm not going to hurt you, buddy. I'm not going to hurt you at all. See? There you go, little mate. Have a little sniff. There you go. I'm not going to hurt you. We just want to see you fly. Yeah. There you go, see? He's breathing a little bit hard, so I'm just going to calm down like this and wait for him to chill out and realise that we're not actually going to hurt him and I'll see if I can just pick him up. I've been giving him little strokes. He has been slowly starting to calm down. You okay, little man? Hey? You're a good lad, eh? Come on, see if we can pick him up. Oh, and he's gone. Hey, we got him! He's chilled out a bit now. So, we're turning this camera on. Lovely. Now, let's see what he's going to do. So, we're coming this side. This is going to encourage him to go that way. Let's see what he does. Woo! You missed. You missed. Try again, buddy. Oh, let me pick you up. Okay. Okay, a bit more over here. Oh, he just jumps to the floor. He meant to be gliding. Oh, he bit me. He's got me. Has he got to be higher up, is it, mate? Is that what it is? Uh, let me move one of these polystyrene panels. Oh. Okay, we'll put that up here. Just in case he just dive bombs off like he's been doing. Oh, he's moody pants. He's got his mouth open. He's a moody pants. Okay then, buddy. Big jumps. Big jumps. Can you do a big jump for us? So we've got polystyrene there. We've got that lot down there. You can jump. You, you meant to jump. You're going to jump off there for us. Hey? You going to jump off? Woo! He's doing some gliding, he's not landing on the polystyrene no. though. Come okay little dude, we pick you up again. Oh he bit me. Where's he going? Come here then. No, I don't think it's working out to plan. Not exactly how I wanted. No. I meant to jump. Can you jump off there for us? Okay. Can you jump off? Woo! I'm doing some gliding, he's not gliding on the bottom side of me though. He's calmed down a lot though. Nah. But he's not doing the gliding. Hmm. I think they've been telling Fibos about you, my friend. Yeah, I think you need to be really, really high up in the trees for it to do anything. I do. What are you climbing on me for? Come on, jump off then. You didn't want me to pick you up for ages, now you're my best buddy. Oh, where's you gone? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, in your tank. Come on. Come on, little buddy. Get off me. Hey? That's it. Come on. Keep going. Yeah, there he goes. Back in his tank. It must have to do with the height. He must have to be a lot higher up for it to actually work. I thought he'd at least get some sort of distance out of it. Um, but he just, the lips are on here, on this one. Well, I'll do this camera right now. Uh, so this one, he literally jumped and fell straight down. Uh, completely missed the polystyrene, but he's fine. Um, 
Hmm. Very strange. And then even off the higher one, he, well, he didn't want to jump off there. Um, well, he did, but he just jumped straight down onto this one. Um, and then the other thing is, I'm not sure if he's actually done much gliding. Um, so I don't know if he even knows how to do it. Strange. I thought he'd at least do a little bit. Um, so I, I'm thinking if it was a graph, so the higher he is, the more of a glide it's gonna get. The lower it is, it's just gonna it's just gonna drop off. Um, which is a good uh, technique to get away from predators. It's what he'd do in the wild. He would just literally cam kamikaze off anything, to, and then whatever he lands on, he lands on. So that's the way he would do in the wild to get get away from predators. So it's all natural stuff he's been doing. But I was trying to see if we could set something up for him in the shop so he could actually do some proper glides in the shop but I don't think we'll be able to the only I've seen them do tests with um, flying squirrels but they use cherry pickers and cranes and stuff like that to get really really high up to try and see how far they would glide um, of course we don't have access to that I tried the best in the shop but uh, he wasn't interested in doing any gliding well he, he tried to I think we would have to look at the camera see if we can see what he did um, but from what I could see, he just 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 dive bomb straight down. There he is, happy in his tank. Hmm, I'm gonna have to see about whatever something else we can do to maybe see if we can uh, get him to fly again for us. It's very it's awkward though, because the only way we'd be able to do it, we'd have to go outside and get something really tall. But uh, I just don't think he'd uh, he'd do it. And if he ran away, I'd be very upset. So I think Willie, we tried our best today. He kind of did a little bit, but uh, I don't think he did the full glide into what he can do in the wild. I thought the flying gecko trajectory 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 uh, was quite interesting. So I found a uh, scientific graph that uh, explains their. Uh, flight pattern um, and sometimes how they fail and don't hit the thing they're aiming for and how sometimes they crash into it um, so I'll get the graph up for you in, uh, in a sec and then um, I'll be able to show you what it means and how far they travel in certain distances with the glide okay so I'm looking at the graph here but I'm gonna put it up here for you oh, so there you go so if you look you can see, yeah, I'll do this so you can just about see me. Um, they've started off at about seven and a half meters. I don't know what that is in other countries, but we're doing meters. So, six and a half meters. And if you look, they only travel half a meter within a meter and a half drop. So they don't travel that far in a short distance. There, we were just under two meters two meters yes so just under two meters um, well a couple of feet under two feet meters so we were we were only going to get half a meter um, to maximum two meter glide uh, well full meter glide and you can see they'll do from a six and a half meter jump platform their maximum travel is probably five meters so they've lost a foot of height no they've lost a foot of distance to what they have in height um, so it is very very um, basic gliding um, you can see sometimes worst case scenarios um, they can do half of the drop so they can be six foot high six meters high sorry um, and they can drop and they can only travel two meters so and those ones are the crash landed in the floor uh, there is lots of documentation of them crashing into trees as well head first um, so there must be quite durable geckos to be able to take all this uh, jumping and, and crashing into things so I thought they would have had a bit more of a, a flight path than what on here but they do have a massive drop 
and then they get the glide at the last minute. After about two meters, that's when they tend to get a bit of a glide on. So they go from like, I don't know, a 60 degree to when they hit the two meter mark of falling, they change to a 45 degree angle and tend to get a bit more of a glide out of it. But uh, as you can see there, um, they're not landing at the t high up on the tree either. They're landing pretty much on the floor or just at the base of the tree. Um, super cool, very interesting. Um, very cool, very cool. But I did think they'd have a bit more. Um, so to get him to do even two meters, he'd have to be at least four meters high in the air. Um, which we haven't got, there's nowhere in here we can do that. I think the roof maximum is three meters in the air. So if we did three meters high, he's gonna, there's a possibility of him traveling one meter after a three meter jump. Um, because he hasn't hit probably terminal, terminal velocity where he picks up the speed of the falling. The max falling speed is about nine miles an hour. Um, so if you drop a rock off a mountain, the fastest that rock will go is probably nine miles an hour falling down. If I remember right, I might be wrong. I thought terminal velocity was uh, nine miles an hour, but I might be quite, I might be a little bit wrong. I might have to check that. Um, so once he hits peak velocity, that's when he, I'm assuming that's when he goes to the 45 degree angle and gets the glide in. Um, but yeah, I, I did think he'd do a bit better than that. Well, there we go, everybody. I'm just at the shop for today. I think that was interesting, but it's a little bit disappointing. I thought he'd have a bit more glide to it. Um, but you can see by the graph, it shows that he needs a lot of fall time before he gets any distance out of it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share, ring the bell for me. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.